Hey, how you doing today? Bobby Lopez, PGA Pro, and I'm here to show you Jeff Sluman with a wedge. We're always looking at drivers and long shots and stuff. Let's take a look at him hitting a wedge. Now, as you know, Jeff Sluman is not a real big guy. Don't let the camera fool you. <laughs> Only teasing. He's a little guy, but he still hits it pretty far. Now, you tell me, is he lifting that club up into position? Or is he turning around himself? Hmm? You tell me. I see so many of you just trying to turn around yourself and corkscrewing yourself into the ground. He lifts the club up. Look how the club face is facing the ball. It's not rolling open. See? Look at his right palm. Look where it's pointing. See that? Now, wait a minute. Just for the heck of it. Let's come over here. Just for the heck of it. Here we go. Let's flip them around. Let's see if Bubba Watson does the same. Oh, pretty close to the same thing. Maybe a little more shut. Just slightly. See, we're looking here at 41, 42 degrees. Here we're looking at 47, 54 maybe. All right, so it's a few more degrees open. Sorry, Bubba. Thanks, pal. Now, let's come on over here. Look at that shaft. It's vertical. Then he comes straight down on that puppy. Look at this. He pulls down. He's not pulling. I know his chest is turning. Don't start. I know his chest is turning. He can't help but turn. But it's secondary, not leading the shot. He comes straight down. Bang! Hits down on that puppy. Look at that ball come straight out, going right towards. Let's just assume. I guess this is the little pole he's aiming at. Just like a barber pole. I need a haircut anyway. Let's see if the ball comes down. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's still in the air. Ah! We never saw it actually land. All right, see this? Boom. Boom. Now, let's look at it from the other side. Let's draw a line right here. Let's draw a line right there. And as you can see, once again, we have the tip of the left shoulder to the club at impact. Look at the tilt in the shoulders. Look where his head is, well behind the ball. And this, my friend, is a wedge. I hear so many people saying, yeah, but he's one of the driver, no wonder his head's behind the ball. No, this is a wedge. Look, he keeps his head perfectly still there, but it doesn't go forward at all. Now, bang, right on the ball, and away it goes. Now, sure, he's got a little less sway movement on the way back. Hey, I just saw something. Look at this. See this guy over here, back in the corner? Look where his head is. Hello? Yeah, hello. Let's look at his swing a second. Look at this. We get a bonus right here. Look at that. See? Look. Look how steady he stays right there. Head doesn't move. What do you see? Tip of the left shoulder to the club at impact. <laughs> see that? See his hands rotate over? There you go. Same thing. Okay, let's go back to this character we have right here. Jeff Sluman. Now, think about this. If you were throwing from center field to home plate... Well, somebody says to me, you know, how far should my head move? Okay, well, let me show you. Here's a perfect, perfect example. Oops, there we go. Here's the same guy. Rieger. Or Riger. I don't know how he says it. And you'll notice with his driver... He's going to make this really huge move to the right foot. Now, if you were throwing from center field to home plate with a baseball, you would do a big tilting of your body in order to fling this thing all the way to home plate. But if you're just throwing from second base to first base, you wouldn't move as much. You wouldn't move as much because you don't need all that arc and all that uh, tilt in order to create additional force 
to make your arm go faster to throw the baseball all the way to home plate. So same thing with golf. Let the head go the distance that it needs to go for that specific shot. So it isn't like you move the head a certain amount every time. Just let it go with the flow. Get the arms up in the air and get the arms down on top of that golf ball. That's what you should be worried about. Let's go back and look again. Arms up in the air. Now, look at these two guys. The lean is this way. The lean is this way. Boom. Boom. Now, he doesn't have as much hip turn or he has a little more flexibility here because notice his right foot is still on the ground. But again, he's just with a wedge in his hand. He's maybe like throwing from second to first. Over here, Rigger's got, let's see what he has here. Let's take a look here. It probably looks like, well, it's a short iron too, but it might be an, a seven or an eight. Might be an eight. So he's going to have a little more movement. Plus, he's just a, a right leg drive kind of guy. See, he throws that right knee in there hard. Watch. Bang. See? Does this help you any? Notice how the hands are rotated over here. Let me slide this over a little bit on the right with Jeff Sluman. Hmm? Then he comes around. Notice how his right leg just releases and it just drags up there. He's balanced on his front foot. All right. So look at the arms. They go up. They drop down. Boom. Right on the ball. Just like Tiger says, I feel like the, the club falling out of the sky in front of my chest. He just drops it right on the ball and goes on around. I hope this helps you some. It makes you realize less is more. If anything, what I see all day long is guys trying to do too much. Trying to turn with their body too much. It's no wonder they end up at the chiropractor. Because they're torquing their body all over the place and they're trying to get more distance and they're actually doing more harm than good. It's actually going shorter. All right, give me a call anytime. There's the phone number. There's quickfixgolf.com. If you haven't seen your swing on video, you need to do it. Come on down. We'll take a look at it. Slow it down just like this. And we'll pinpoint exactly what's going wrong with you.